Uh, my name's Danny Noonan, retired from the FDNY, uh, went to the academy, what we call the Rock. Oh, way back 1973. I was assigned to Ladder Company 3 on East 13th Street in Manhattan. On the night of February 27th, 1975, approximately 25 after midnight, all of a sudden the voice alarm come over. What I did understand was res respond to box 465, which is the New York Telephone Company building, just down the block from us. It was a fire in the sub cellar vaults, and they were some three stories below us. The smoke, this is, the, this is like razor blades in your throat. You're going to descend into the sub cellars an almost certain death. You couldn't find your way out at the air supply and the maze of corridors down there in zero visibility smoke. Now the smoke gets so thick, we can't see one another. The heat from the polyethylene that was melting on the cables was filling the floor, and our boots were starting to adhere to this. We're entangled in the staircase, trying to get out as other firefighters are trying to get down. Now the smoke is banked down to the absolute floor, and the polyvinyl chloride is burning. And there's a billion feet of this, and it's all burning. So as firefighters made their way out of the building, were crawling, some can't make it back to the entrance, and their air supply has run out. It's a maze-type structure. You have hallway after hallway after hallway of what they call distribution frames. It was so intense, the heat that was giving off the copper cables, all the gases accumulated in the ceiling. And some five hours into the operation, these gases exploded. And they knocked everybody who was around it, knocked them off their feet. Whoa. So we got everybody out in the street. Now at this point, there are literally hundreds, hundreds of firefighters going sick in the street. A total of 699 firefighters fought this fire, but a few days later, when they were exposed to this, all these different chemicals, all this polyvinyl chloride, and it has like flu-like symptoms, maybe they just thinking, oh, this is the middle of winter, I have the flu, but actually it's poison. It's poison from these chemicals. And the most dangerous was chlorinated dioxins. And also we needed air cylinders, and we needed them desperately. And we had to get them from all 340 firehouses from throughout the city and rush them to the scene. The smoke goes all the way to Queens. Motorists on the FDR Drive, six blocks away, at noon the next day had to put on their headlights to drive through the smoke. I mean, this is a disaster. This is the worst thing we've seen. A lot of veterans and everything call the fire at the New York Telephone Exchange the first 9-11.